You knew damn well that that neck was broken. No. Don't, no, come on. You no, had that thing know. 30 years and you didn't know that there was a different kind of paint over it and that it was cracked? That's not true. I saw that there was a crack in it. So oh. did you feel that that crack had anything to do with its sound? It did not. Okay. That's really what your position is. Because you must have told him 10 times in these emails, what do you care about a minor thing like that for? It sounds good. Just play it and enjoy it. Am I right? Yes, did you I say did. that? Yes, I did. Because, see, I think the two of you are playing fast and loose with one another. You got a better deal on something that you really wanted. You had some information that you would impart with because you really felt it shouldn't be relevant. Because when you heard him play, you knew he wasn't an experienced guitar player, correct? I didn't point it out because I just did. I, I, it's not, it was something so far in the background, I just don't think about it. it. The crack is so of no consequence to me. It's been there for 30 years. I've had no other issues with the guitar. That guitar has never gone to a repair shop. But at the same time, I just really feel like, shouldn't you look at these things before you pay a lot of money? To, I mean, if you were to buy a diamond ring or something, wouldn't you get that appraised before you plunk down? 25 grand on it or whatever, you know? But I'm gonna ask you a question because you yeah. just said something that interests me. You said that crack has been there for 30 years. So it cracked when you had it? No. So it, then- I don't even know if it's really well, a no, crack. Well, no, you said the crack has been, that crack, whatever it is, you said yes, has been there for 30 years and you just felt because it wasn't relevant to you, it shouldn't be relevant to a purchaser. I'm not saying it matters. Hmm. I'm just trying to get the I don't, truth I out don't of one of you. It, I, no, I, I'm trying to tell you the, the truth the best as I know it. I don't even think that it is a crack. There's a line there. I don't know how far the crack goes in. If it is a crack, I don't know. He said that one of his experts said that, that the neck was probably completely snapped off. I don't think so. You know, that's my belief. That guitar plays beautifully. I don't care about that stuff. Okay, it's, then we're going to excuse both. the both of thank you while you. we deliberate in this matter. Thank you. All right, so uh, let's start with the defendant's initial advertisement. He started out saying it was in 1970, but ask questions. Did the plaintiff ever say to him, are you sure this is a 1970? No, I think all that the plaintiff relied on was simply the advertisement and then he had an hour to inspect and play the guitar. My problem is that the sale was as is and clearly said no warranties, no nothing. The defendant didn't hold himself out as an expert and he clearly divulged where he got the guitar from. So I'm having trouble finding that this is material. Well, let me also say he had- Or fraudulent in any no, way. He had the ad out for 70 before he even had contact with him. So it wasn't as though- Right, he, he It wasn't as though he tailored him. it to no, him to, so no. that he would come in and rip him off. Sorry. So he, whatever he was, he sorry, was sorry. mistaken. Just because it's a 70, he said they're worth more. And I said, well, aren't there 70s that are worth less? And he said, yes. He bought it knowing how it played. So the crack was irrelevant. I don't think he's entitled to any money back. And I the think other thing as far as the crack, there's no evidence that the crack has affected the, the functionality exactly. of this. I agree with everything that the two of you said. And in addition to that, even though he seems like an honest guy, I am not comfortable making a determination that this is not a 1970. Because right. all we have is a report from somebody who's not here. We don't know how long the appraiser spent on this guitar such that I'm not even comfortable concluding that it's a 1974. Like, I don't know that for sure on this record. So I would add that to the abundance of reasons there are to dismiss this You praise case. it could have been his cousin, fool. I mean, yeah, for I mean, all we, 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 are, we are entitled, as the equivalent of a small claims court, to hear hearsay and give it whatever weight we think is relevant. But you're correct. I mean, in this particular case, to accept the appraisal without question would be to supplant essentially our discretion. Right. But even if it's accurate, it still has nothing to do with he bought a guitar as is. It's not relevant. It wasn't material to his purchase. It played beautifully. That's why he bought it. And until he bought the 1969, he was willing to hold on to this guitar for 500 for less. less. Money. Right. And That's I right. did do some research online. A lot of them were going for much more than yeah. he paid for it, yeah. whether it was a 70 or a 74. Right. So he knew he got a good deal. And I'm kind of comfortable with he got what he bargained for. Good. Too. We got it.